Hi, this is Jason from Kuma Stoves. I'm going to give you a quick overview of the Tobi oil control valve that's found on almost every Kuma oil burning stove. The first thing we'll take a look at are the mounting feet. This is where the bolts will connect from your stove to hold this oil control down. These are quarter 20 thread. If you're replacing this on a Kuma stove, just use the bolts that came off of the original and they'll fit with no problem. The next thing we'll look at are the fuel oil connections. This here is where your oil line is going to come from your tank. This one here is where it will leave the oil control and go to the burn pot in your stove. You'll want to use a little bit of thread tape or a, some sort of sealant to make sure that these don't seep oil. In this case, it doesn't have to be a high temperature product, just something that will keep it from seeping. This is going to stay really cool during operation. Next is the main oil control adjustment dial that's here and you'll see that it's pointing to an O for off or a zero and then it's going to have six notches here as it moves around and those are the six different oil flow settings that you can use from low to high. Also on the top of the oil control valve are the two fuel adjustment screws. This one here that's closest to the one notch is for the low. This one here that is next to the number six notch is for high. These take a small to medium sized flat blade screwdriver to adjust. What you probably can't see right here is an arrow that has a plus at this end and a minus at this end. It's the same for both and you'll turn it towards the plus to increase the fuel and towards the minus to decrease the fuel. I'll just point out a couple more things on the top. This is a little plastic vent hole cover that is completely unused on any Kuma oil stove. Uh, these are the mounting screws for the top cover. So in order to get inside of this, which we'll do a little bit later, you'll remove those with a flat blade screwdriver. The last thing to see on the outside is this small lever. This will click up to activate the float and allow the oil to come into the control valve. This needs to be in the up position for normal operation. Now let's take a look at the inside. I've removed these two screws which will allow this top plate to come off. You can take that off and set it aside. There's really nothing to see or adjust on that. The first thing you notice after removing the top cover is this float. The float assembly is responsible for one of the two main functions of this oil control. If I pick up this lever that we saw from the outside, you'll see the float fall into its active position. Once it's there, it can now adjust the amount of oil that stays in the control. If the oil level rises too much, it will disengage that. That is the safety system that will prevent overflow inside of the house. The second major function of this oil control is to meter the amount of fuel that goes to the burn pot. That's handled by this device right here, which we refer to as a metering stem. When you turn the dial towards low, it pushes down on this and eventually will stop oil completely. When you rotate the dial towards high, it allows the metering stem to come up and delivers more oil to the burn pot. When servicing and cleaning your oil control valve, you can simply lift the metering stem out of its seat. The one thing that is critical to pay attention to on the metering stem is this slot. This slot is where all of the oil leaves the valve to go to the burn pot. If that has calcium deposits or debris of some sort in it, it will stop the oil flow to the burn pot. That can be one of the first things that you want to check if your oil stove is not working. The last thing we'll take a look at is accessing the filter. Once the screws have been removed, the plate should just fall right off. The gasket may come with it. If the gasket doesn't come with it, just reach in there with your fingernail or thumbnail and pry it out. Take a screwdriver and just gently pry on that filter and it'll come out. That filter is reusable. You can take that over to the sink, rinse it out, dry it off thoroughly and put it right back in. Well, there you have it. That's the basic overview of a Tobi oil control valve as found on most Kuma oil stoves. Hope you learned something today that will be useful to you, and thank you for watching.